Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video, and today we'll be checking out an updated version of a no spell bait deck that I found online today. Right here is a 4.0 elixir giant skeleton royal giant sparky deck. You have uh, the sparky in there to counter the current meta, things like battle healer, e golem, golem sparky does well against. The giant skeleton is also a beast at destroying those massive pushes with his giant bomb also does very well versus the battle healer then you also have a bunch of bait in here as well and as i mentioned guys i found this deck online on royale api where it was being used to get some 12 wins in grand challenges recently not a very popular deck by any means only being used for about 120 battles recently inside of clash royale but it did have an impressive 70 percent win rate so when I saw the win rate in there, and I was like, you know what? It's been a while since we've done a video on the No Spell Bait deck, so I figured we'd bring it back today. Now, if you guys are familiar, this deck, this strategy has been around the game for quite a while now, but it's always been updated, like, basically every season to counter that current meta. And now we have the Sparky and the Giant Skeleton in there to destroy things like Battle Healer, Eagle, and Golem, etc., etc. So, Mr. Khan. Can we win this battle? Yes. Yukon. <laughs> uh, I crack myself up sometimes. So, what does he got? With this kind of a strategy, honestly, you kind of want to wait for Double Elixir period. Because it is a rather expensive deck. 4.0 average Elixir. No spells in there. No damaging spells, that is. Uh, so, you kind of want to just... Uh, ideally, just chill, man. When he goes Sparkinator here on the right, he's going to go Goblin Gang. By Goblin Gang, I do mean Natal, guys, just in case you're wondering what I meant. Boom. That should be a nasty Sparky Blast to the face right there. Oh, I was assuming he had a... Um, hmm, okay. This changes things. He was right here, maybe? Guards? Ooh, I'm actually really okay with that mini P.E.K.K.A. there. Back up in here, should get the Baby D down. Hmm. Would have preferred no Belches. But we did get some respectable damage onto the tower on the left there. The question is, do I want to go Princess here? We'll get at least one shot to the tower before he logs it. You know, Princess time for it. That's respectable. What are you doing? Aha! Nice try, buddy. Now we're going to get our Skarmy here for the Night Witch on the right, probably. Do we need it? Maybe we don't. Actually, yes, we do. Ah, we didn't. We didn't need it, guys. We didn't need it. Because that, uh, she was basically dead already, anyways. The giant bomb left lane should get some work done to that tower there. And now we're gonna get a... I'm just hoping it doesn't have rocket. Sometimes these sneaky golem decks have rocket in there. And then it's a bad day. And it's a very bad day if they do. Sir. You do not. I'm gonna pull the mini pickup over with my that. We got some bats right here. The RG is still gonna go to that lane despite being nadoed. That seems odd, doesn't it not? Look at this golem just get destroyed, dude. It says here for that. He expected a pre. I think he was trying to pre-log a Skarmy there, but it kind of missed. I'm gonna poison my princess. That what's with the true pathing right now? There's no way that should go to that lane, dude. Forky blast. Tower goes down. We have ourselves a two crown. Maybe even a third crown right here. No, he's gonna nail me like a noob. Sir, sir, newbie sauce? Why? Why are you, why are you preventing my three crown? Just let me have my three crown and go sit in your corner. Dude. That was so rude. That was so rude. He knew he wasn't gonna win, but he just denied me the three crown just for no reason. Ouch, man, that hurts, dude. I thought we were, I thought we were better than that, Con. I thought we were better than that, dude. Anyways, jumping in a battle here against Mr. Blue Ribbon. He has the uh, free tower skin unlocked already, which is, I think, one of the better versions of the tower skin this season. Although it's gonna be interesting to see how it looks uh, in a different arena. <laughs> think of like Pekka Playhouse in with the igloo skin. That would be odd, right? Ooh. My dear friends, is a Sparky. Come on, let's go. Let's 
Let me just kill the Sparky, please. He's got to have Zap or Log here. What do you think it is? NATO. Thankfully, the NATO is not just for the Princess. I'm going to keep the pressure up here because he's got to answer one of these things. There we go. Should have used the Princess on the left lane. That's my bad. Because if I would have used that, she would be she would destroy that and then go back to the left lane and put on additional pressure to that tower that's already weak. That's my B, guys. I'm sorry. I apologize for that. Let's go bats here for this uh bat this. Whoa, this dude's crazy, man. He's gonna go eagle and behind the battle healer. Blue ribbon. He's a pro player. Boom. Nice, there we go. Let's get to here. That tanks like that. I kind of want to get a one of these left lane. He can't really support all the lanes here, so we'll see which one he defends. Giant Skelly on the right, get some damage done. Thank you, Giant Skelly. One more shot, please, Giant Skelly, please. Thank you. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, man, Blue Ribbon. Are you going to give up? Oh, I thought he was going to rage quit here soon. This is starting to get to, to get to rage quit worthy uh, battle here. Maybe we'll see. He's gonna poison that one. Sparky outside the poison spell. Gonna hit the eagle on there. Nice. Look at this. I really thoroughly enjoy this free elixir, sir. Much appreciate for that. Mini pack on the right here. Bats for that jazz. Giant bomb explodes because of baby dragon. It do. We prefer when it do. All right. Let's go. Probably going to get... Oh, man. Look at that Sparky. Guys, this is... this. You know, you can't even watch this, man. This is... This is destruction right here. This is a disaster. This is a disaster. Poor Blue Ribbon's going down. He's having a rough day. I did... I did thoroughly appreciate the free elixir he was giving me there. With all of those uh, eagleums. So, hopefully, if every battle we have here... If my opponent can just give me more free elixir, uh, I would prefer that because it, it was it was definitely uh, what's the word? I'm generous. It was generous of him. Maybe it's because it's clash miss. It's the season of giving, isn't it? That's what they say. He just felt like giving some elixir. Thank you, sir. Blue ribbon. Thank you. I appreciate that. We all need an opponent like blue ribbon every so often, dudes. Get us some of that. Oh, no. Now we're facing Bats deck. The most toxic deck in Clash Royale history. The Bats deck. No. Oh, no. This is going to suck. This is going to suck. Oh, yeah, yeah. Facing a spell bait deck when you have no spells in your deck is definitely not an enjoyable experience inside of Clash Royale. So it remains to be seen how um, my uh, my mental state of mind is gonna is gonna remain through this battle here, because oh he zaps it, this dude is in shame. He's got the zap spell. What did I do? Clash Royale. Clash 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 Royale. What did I do to deserve this Clash Royale? I knew he was gonna go bats there. Boom. Giant bomb explodes. Should get some good stuff done to this uh, Sparkinator here. Yo, legit, if he zaps that, we're dead. Yo, legit, we're actually dead here. Legit. Dark Oven. Dark Oven. You couldn't do me a favor, Dark Oven. Uh, you can go Skarmy here. We got no spell to zap it. This is going to be unfortunate. Oh, maybe not. Okay, Giant Skelly gets his tower, guys. But it's not going to be enough to finish the tower off. I told you guys facing a spell bait deck with no spells is going to be unfortunate. And here we go. It's being unfortunate. The main issue is we got nothing to get past this Skarmy. If he goes, uh... Like... If we go Giant Skeleton here, he goes Skarmy, we can't destroy the Skarmy. Right? That makes sense. See, look, look at this. 
And I'm, I'm gonna just drop my princess into that blast just for funsies. That's thoroughly enjoyable when I do that. No. No, please. Sir. I said please. It's the this, it's this season of giving. Please don't give me this Borky Blast. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. That was unfortunate, guys. That was I'm not gonna lie right now, that was very unfortunate. Uh He had a million swarm and we had zero spells. But that's just the way it works, man. That's just the way this deck works. It's been around the game for a while. You just you never put spells in there for some reason. <laughs> Alright, guys, let's go ahead here, jump into one more battle, and uh hopefully recover from that unfortunate mess of unfortunacies. Uh in that last battle there. Ooh. Got a minion horde. I wonder if we'll see a predictive miner here. Go princess here. Does he log it? Does he arrows it? Does he go predictive miner? He does none of the above. Huh, okay. Interesting play. Put Battle Ram here to support this. He's gonna, bar he's gonna bar bill it right now. He does not. Interesting. What? Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on a hot minute here, guys. How does that giant skeleton not go back to the Battle Ram there? Am I crazy, or did that not visually look like it was way closer there? Maybe I, maybe I'm just getting crazy, dude. But I, I it looked to me like it was, uh, like it should have been that way. I don't know. Huh? I don't know. That was just a bit odd to me. Was it odd to you guys? Seeing that battle run run right past? Nothing happened. Boom! Nice. There we go. Obviously suspecting it's going to be a 3 to tier deck now. I'm going to see how it goes. He's going to go Goblin Gang here. Does he? Battle Ram. Nice zap, nice zap. Unfortunately, you only get one to the tower there. Going to go Skarmy here. That should destroy the Barbarians pretty nicely. RG should get one more shot. Tower is within zap range. Which, uh, thankfully, we do not have a zap in our deck because we don't want to do that, man. We want to win the hard way. Thoroughly, this, this, no, no having spells in our deck is definitely a good idea. Ooh, spicy. Nice. Like this. Like this. Okay. It's getting a bit cheeky now. There we go. Yes, there we go. The problem here remains. We go Giant Skeleton right here. Nice, there we go. Finish that tower off on the right before we get too crazy. He's gonna zap the right. He does. Bars, please die. Nice, thank you. Thank you much, Lee Barbarians. Sparky here can get some work done if he goes Musketeers here soon. Okay, we good? Okay. Should be... I'm mostly concerned about the right lane at the moment. Spark up in here. Oh, man, that was juicy. That's Sparky Blast, dude. RG here. Princess for the Minion Horde. Please go Minion Horde right now. Eh. Please go later, Minion Horde. I don't like when they don't listen to me. I asked very respectfully. I said, please go later, Minion Horde. And he said, no, I don't care. I was, I, that's kind of rude. Am I am I weird to think that's rude? The way he blatantly just said he doesn't care about my feelings. 2019. It's 2019. Everyone's supposed to care about everyone's feelings nowadays. That's it's the important thing nowadays. Just feelings, man. How dare you? How dare thee? Uh, he's playing... I don't know why he's playing so aggressively here, dudes. It's definitely odd, though. The Goblin game I had the tower would not help you guys the RG. <laughs> I think he was expecting a Goblin barrel there or something. But, uh, anyways. <laughs> D go. That's the way D goes. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'll, I'll, I'll quit YouTube now. That's just getting too lame. 
All right, guys, let's go ahead here, finish the video off with a couple of replays as we usually do. The first of which is going to be against a uh, very, very uh, popular strategy. It's E Golem, E Dragon, Battle Healer. Now, typically this deck does fairly work well versus Battle Healers and E Golems. Him having the E Dragon in there uh, gives him a bit of an edge, obviously, because it resets the Sparky. Uh, at least I think he had Battle Healer in here, right? I think he had Battle Healer. Or am I crazy? And is my memory going in my old age? The E Dragon, let's go, let's fast forward here. We go Princess there. Yeah, he does have Battle Healer. So normally this deck does well versus Battle Healer and Eagle, but the E Dragon in there gives him a slight advantage, in my opinion, just for the ability to reset my Sparky. And honestly, we don't really have a heavy, like, you know, we don't have Lightning Spell, we don't have Mega Minion, we don't have anything to kill the E Dragon. But thankfully, Giant Sultan gets in there to get some damage done to that Night Witch. She should go down here to the Giant Bomb. Then we're going to get a Dark Oven down here for the Bats. And I believe we get Sparky, same lane as the Battle Healer. Now this battle, if I remember correctly, it starts out pretty rough. It starts going pretty bad for me. We make, <coughs> we make a few unfortunate misplays, aka right here. I went Skarmy there with the intention... Of distracting his Electro Dragon. Obviously, he went uh, the the Natal. And at this point in the battle here, it's not looking good. He poisoned my Princess. Battle Healer's alive. Starts healing up the Golemites. And then our tower goes down fairly, fairly low right here to the Electro Dragon. So right there, I tried to block the E-Dragon. The Natal pulls everything back. Kills the Skarmy. We weren't able to defend. But now that I kind of know what his, what his plan is, <clears throat> I kind of changed my strategy just a bit. So we're going to go ahead here. Going to get a Royal Giant down left lane. He's going to try and defend the Royal Giant here. So what do I do, right? It's a good question. Glad you asked. I'm going to go ahead with a Giant Skeleton in front of the RG. Get that big beastie boy up front there. That way when he dies, the Giant Bomb goes boom. Destroys all of his defensive units. Clearing the way for, for the Royal Giant right here. Giant Bomb explodes. Everything's dead. Path is cleared. RG walks in. Shoots his tower. Goblin Barrel does work. Tower goes down. He is thoroughly impressed with my skill once again. And now we have ourselves a one crown lead. Now, with that being said, obviously he's got poison in his deck, so likely chances are the tower left lane will probably go down, and we're probably gonna be playing for a two crown victory here. So, gonna go Sparky right with the Giant Skeleton. Absolutely demolishes this Elixir Golem push right here. Um, thankfully, the Sparky is just a bit out of range of that uh, Electro Dragon. And as a result, we get free Elixir, Giant Skeleton goes down, Gonna get, I believe, an RG in the pocket right now, or no? Totally gonna go RG right, not in the pocket, but behind that giant skeleton. Then the E Dragon goes down, Sparky's still alive. Dark Goblin down here, Giant Bomb explodes, kills the, kills the baby dragon. Uh, Battle Healer dies to the Sparky Blast, RG's destroying everything. Goblin Bill goes in, and that is the end guess. Sparky shoots tower, tower goes down, we have ourselves a two crown victory. So, very, very rough start there, but definitely maybe a bit of a um, reminder not to give up too early. In that battle, I actually thought about giving up just because it was kind of going pretty rough and I wasn't really uh, playing that well. But we came back, we won, got the two crown victory uh, against Mr. Cole World. All right, so we have one more replay over here, guys, versus a Lava Loon deck. Uh, I know he's level 12 King Tower, but I figured Lava Loon is a good replay to throw in here because we obviously uh, we don't have too much air defense in this deck. So I'm going to go ahead here with a, what do you call it? Princess, I think is what it's called. No, we're going to go Goblin Barrel. Whenever I have Goblin Barrel in my starting hand, that's always my preferred opening play. Uh, I go the standard plant with the Goblin Barrel there. Don't do that. I've been noticing more and more recently. The trend, just because Tornado Spell is so popular, the trend is to go Goblin Barrel on the outside corner away from the King Tower in the uh, the non-NATO spot. Uh, usually try and go there first time. Because that way, like, you need to know, like, if they have NATO, once they activate the King Tower, it's so much harder to do work with your Goblin Barrel. So, um, just try and, you know, use that, the anti nato spot, as I call it, uh, until you know what they have in their deck. Uh, obviously, you know, if you know they've used your NATO out of rotation, then feel free to go with Standard Plant. Uh, just try and mix up your locations if possible, though. Anyways, Giant Skeleton here destroys. We're going to kill the, the pups with the bats. Now, unfortunately, should have known this. He's got Lava Hound. I should have known this. Uh, I used all my air defense. So we have to kind of just soak that damage to the tower on the right. Now, the other bad side with that is the balloon bomb also destroys the princess. Uh, so we don't even have anything to kind of counter push from that. We just legit lost the tower, lost the princess, lost everything. 
and uh, lost our hopes and dreams. But in the end, we're gonna go Goblin Barrel here on his tower. He stabs it. We get a few stabs off in the process, bringing the damage down to 2,100. We're only behind by 300 right now. RG going down right here, going down the left lane. This is more of a difficult matchup for this deck for sure, obviously because of the lack of strong air defense. But that's just how she goes. Every deck has a few weaknesses. Now, right here, I believe I'm going to go Giant Stun up front. Tanks for the RG. Dark Goblin going down as well to destroy the minions. And then I believe we actually go right here with some bats for his Lava Hound. No, Skarmory for the uh, guards. The RG did some good work to the tower, bringing it down to 600 health. Barrel going down here. He has to fireball the barrel, giving us huge elixir value. Lava Hound now explodes. Basically, just trying to maintain pressure and prevent him from going balloon, right? We know he's got balloon in his deck, but if I use my my uh, RG and my Giant Skeleton to my advantage, he only has basically two ground cards. Tombstone, guards. So if they get past that, uh, he can't stop anything. As a result, RG left lane, destroys his tower. Balloon goes down on the right. Uh, Princess Dark Goblin combination does destroy it. And now we have 13 seconds left against my dear friend Legend. Barrel going down here. RG doing work. Skarmy going in there. And that's basically it. Both of our towers over 1,000 health. Um, pretty good battle there. Obviously, the important thing there was not playing passively. Uh, trying to be aggressive with the Giant Skeleton and the uh, and the uh, the Goblin Barrel. He didn't have a good Goblin Barrel counter. He didn't have Logar Bar Barrel. Didn't have NATO. Zap doesn't kill it. If you have a Distraction Tank, the Goblin Barrel can do work even if he's got a Zap Spell. And he's only got two ground cards, the Guards and the Tombstone. So by maintaining pressure, we're forcing him to do stuff on defense. And he isn't able to use his Balloon. So... Overall, one crown victory, guys, against Mr. Legend. Anyways, guys, that is the end of the video. Here is a deck one more time if you want to go ahead and give it a shot yourself. It is uh, a very interesting deck. It takes quite a while to get the hang of it because you have no damaging spells in there. Uh, but these kind of strategies have been around in Clash Royale for a while. So uh, just kind of like the updated version for the current meta does fairly well versus all of the uh, Battle Healer, e Golem, Golem uh, meta decks out there right now. But anyways, that's the end of the video. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe for more Clash World content. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We shall see you in the next one.